Hey, it's Stuart Sutton. Hope you're having a great day. Georgetown, Texas housing, new homes versus resale. It's a constant conversation. New homes have lots of pluses as do resales, but I'm going to show you some information that you may have never seen before today right here on this short video. Take a look. So let's start with stats. I'm not going to spend much time on stats because I know a lot of people kind of get bored by those, but this will be real quick. 41% of the home sales in Georgetown, Texas were new homes in 2023. Now that's the highest in five years in that last five year run, as you can see. Why is that? That's a question a lot of people ask about a lot of different things going on in the market. Why? Why is that? Well, here it is. You know that home inventory was low for resales because there's not a lot of sellers willing to give up those two and a half, three, three and a half percent interest rates that they have on their home. And builders were trying to get ahead, get homes on the ground, make them available for buyers to buy. And they have made up a lot of ground. 41% is a big percentage of the home buyers in Georgetown, Texas. And as we know, new homes always sell for more per square foot than resale. Two homes the same size, which is going to sell for more per square foot? Well, it's nearly always going to be the new home. There are exceptions, of course. But in today's market, you've got to look at that very closely. Why do people pay more per square foot for a new home? Well, first of all, because it's new. You know, new cars have that new car smell, or new homes they do too. Another reason is that you get to make decisions. If you catch it early enough, you might be able to choose your colors, the type of cabinetry, the type of flooring, fixtures, things like that. And if you do a to be built from the start, you get to choose everything. So getting the home the way you want it is a big advantage. Not often do you find a resale home that's exactly the way you like it. And of course, with a new home, everything's under warranty. Appliances, water heater, air conditioner, everything is under warranty. So if something breaks down, you don't have to worry about it. You just call in the warranty. Now we know resale homes have warranties, but we all know the lack of dependability of those warranties and that they don't really carry the full load like a new home warranty would. And here's something you may or may not have been aware of. New home builders negotiated more in their prices in 23 than resale home sellers. So you would get more off the asking price with a new home in 23 than you did from a resale home. And that's a pretty big incentive. So several reasons that new homes sell for more per square foot. Except, let me share this with you. In Georgetown, Texas, in 2023, that didn't happen. What do you mean it didn't happen? Well, resale homes actually sold for more per square foot than new homes in 2023. I want to share something with you. Remember, 2023, there was no frenzy. There was no market where everyone was offering over asking and pushing that price per square foot way up. 23 returned to some normalcy. So the fact that new homes sold for less per square foot was quite an anomaly. As a matter of fact, extremely rare. Home buyers were absolutely shocked that they could buy the same size new home for less than they could a resale home. That's extremely rare, as I've said, and home buyers were totally shocked by it. But guess what? They reacted to it, as you can see in the stats. But a lot of people wonder why. Why would new homes be less per square foot? Well, in a changing market, when a market is on a downward trend, builders react faster. They have access to big data. They know what the trends are. They know what's going on in the near future much better than home sellers and real estate agents do. Therefore, they can offer closing costs to home buyers to help alleviate that burden. They can buy down interest rates. Interest rates on the way up, builders can buy those down. They can offer lots of upgrades. I saw builders, when you walk in, you buy the house, you get 20 25, $30,000 worth of upgrades. You just add those to the house. And upgrades, pretty darn big deal. And of course, they could lower their prices. They could afford to lower their prices quicker than home sellers could because a builder has an inventory of homes, probably other markets with homes in them, and they can afford to take a short-term loss or less profit in the short term, whereas an individual homeowner may have a very particular situation that they're tied to and need to get a certain price. Now the question comes, well, how much less per square foot were they? Well, about 4.34%. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. If you look at this, average size home in Georgetown, Texas is around 2,250 feet. A resale home at 2,250 feet had an average price of 520. A new home at 2,250 square feet had a home of four, had a price of 498.5. So 
you could get the same size house for less money, that's pretty hard to beat. Now, are there some advantages to resales? Well, of course, there's some tremendous advantages to resales. One of the traditional advantages is that they were a better value. That was not necessarily the case in 2023, though. But what about 2024? Well, I'm going to say yes and no. I do believe that we'll continue to see new homes as a terrific value, probably priced less per square foot. But that type of thing tends to have a short life. So we probably won't see that a whole lot longer. But stay tuned and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on in Georgetown, Texas housing. But wait a minute, we're not going to leave you hanging if you own a home and need to sell. There are solutions to competing with new homes. What are those solutions? Well, pretty much the same as builders. You can price your home to sell. Now, I want you to be aware of something. Even though we saw that huge run up and then a settling, you still have a lot of equity you didn't have. As a matter of fact, you've got tremendous equity that you gained in that 18 to 20 month increase in home values. Tremendous equity. Your value now compared to 2019 is substantially higher, depending on where you're located in the Georgetown, Texas home market. You can also offer incentives. You can buy down interest rates just like a builder can. You can build that into your asking price. You can also pay closing costs just like a builder can. So your list is pretty much the same as a builder's. And because you had that run up in equity, you can be competitive with your pricing. You can also offer upgrades. Now you may not add a bunch of upgrades like a builder would, but you can certainly market the upgrades you have and make sure the buyer's very, very aware of what your home offers that builders don't offer, that other resale homes don't offer. So your upgrades are extremely important in a market like this. So with that said, you can deal with and adapt to this market where new homes are selling for less per square foot than resale homes. And I'll just add something real quick. This might seem obvious, but I've got clients whose homes showed and were maintained like new homes. And anyone would be thrilled to buy a home from them. I will, I mean, I can give you a list of them, but some of my clients, their homes you can eat off the floor. Absolutely nothing wrong with anything mechanical or structural. As soon as they saw any hint of an issue, they would take care of it ahead of time. Never a problem. As a matter of fact, Sometimes their homes would be better than buying a new home. So the better maintained, the cleaner, the better your home shows, the better you're going to compete with new homes. Because you better believe that you are competing with new homes in a market like this. So with all that said, I threw another video up. It's right here. We do have a guarantee for home buyers. It's called the Love It or Leave It Guarantee. You've probably never seen anything like it. Take a look at that video. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe below. And I hope to see you on the next video.